As far as I can tell, you were a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your goat exam. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. Got a goat to take. Anything I need to know about the goat? The generalized occupational aptitude test. Goat. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. This overseer sounds less and less of a pleasant human being every time I hear stuff about sounds him. familiar? Hey, it's not my call. You're 16 now, so this year... Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Do we have to die in the vault? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wants for you either. Okay. That's what the overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Can we talk about Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. Oh, okay. Passion about life, about love. I thought maybe she was. He was talking about Amada for a moment. Like, she was beautiful, more beautiful than that girl of yours. <laughs> but most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you, and so time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son. Please. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. What's wrong with being a garbage burner? Take care, son. I got out of here. Good luck. Okay. It's going to take everything that's not nailed down. Okay, Dad? Good morning. A bobblehead. A smart man knows a bandage only hides his wounds. Your medical skill has been permanently increased ten points. See the old man before class, eh? Oh, I can just hop on the computer right in front of you. Stanley continues to suffer from severe and chronic head pain. I've been feeding him aspirin like it's candy. <laughs> but I'm reticent to give him anything stronger. He blames the lighting in his quarters. And though eye strain is certainly compounding the problem, the, uh, headaches are actually a symptom of overwork and lack of sleep. Knowing Stanley and the schedule of the overseer has him on, the problem isn't likely to get better anytime soon. So it's aspirin indefinitely. Wow. Freddy's VDS is getting worse. What's VDS? Most days he can't get out of bed. When he does manage to function, Freddy hides his insecurities and low self-esteem behind a bully's mask. Vault Tech medical protocols dictate the prescription of anti-anxiety medication when Vault Depressive Syndrome is involved. Ah, okay. Experiments. 
cells are still replicating normally. No mutation, thank God. If whatever's out there could penetrate this vault, I can't even begin to imagine what the overseer would do. After borrowing a few more water chips and rewriting some of the power here in the clinic, I've finally been able to affect the latest sample. It's not much, but considering what I have to work with, it's a definite step in the right direction. This new experiment was also monumental for another reason. It's the first time Jonas has assisted me. He's suspected forever, I know, so I guess it was inevitable, and his help has been invaluable. What are they doing? What are you running experiments on? Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. How's things? Have you had a chance to look over these results? I was just going over them. Something you're worried about? I'd just like to keep an eye on this. No problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Hmm. Suspicious. Should I be taking every... Oh, oh. Bone saw. That should be useful. Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What Take seems to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that just won't go away. Even with the pills you gave me last week, it's the lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. That's still bothering me. Hmm. Well. Was Stanley one of the kids, or was Stanley... She's nothing, Butch. Let's go into the storeroom, Amada. I'll show you a good time. Get What's these the idiots away Daddy's from me! Daddy's girl gonna cry. Daddy's Why girl. Why don't you go see that? Oops. Get yours Stop eventually. it! Leave Stay him alone! Give him another one! Give him uh, another one! Come on, tunnel snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. Let's go. Yeah, Butch. Where are you going? Thanks for getting rid of them. Assholes. I, I told Butch I would beat the shit out of him, and I did. The overseer, I guess. Idiots. Amada. Okay, okay, you win. We'll leave the little girl alone. You're not worth our time anyway. Come on, tunnel snakes. We're out of here. I got a problem with the fact that I picked the same haircut as these jobbers. Hey, it's Andy. What is it now, sir? Wow, that's kind of rude. Is this the way we're going for the exam? No. How do I put my fist down? Ooh. Well, that's definitely not it. <laughs> ah, sweet, sweet water. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. There are a lot more people in this vault than I expected. <sighs> I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Take your seat so we can get started. There's no Back wrong off. answers? Wally? You're lucky I can't beat the crap out of you right now. I already knocked out your boy. Well, where's Amada? Find the classroom and finally get started. No talking and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Grudge. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Right. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Was this quiz was in the uh, 
was in Fallout 4 before they let you into the other place, isn't it? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Amputate. Oh, well, that's the top answer. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? <laughs> I'm going to say that one. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Where do we... Where would we even play baseball? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea. But you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Obey your elder and kill the resident. <laughs> uh. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Shoot the lock off. Oh no. You've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? A bullet to the brain, large doses of anti mutagen agent prayer, maybe <laughs> remove the mutated tissue with a precision laser. I like that one. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of the Grog Master Barbarian comic book, issue number one. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valued possessions. Steal the comic book at gunpoint. Sneak in and steal the comic book from his desk. Slip some knockout drops into the... Hmm. Whew, which would be the best there? I think sneak in. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Loosen the bolts on some pipes. When the sink is turned on, the restroom will flood. I think that. Manipulate the power wattage of his razor so he'll get an electric shock the next time he shaves. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Hmm. Of fucking course. Not the overseer. Pencils down, people. That's it. Infamous ghost. It was ten sure questions. You didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Hey, we can get a good look at our face from either angle. Hi, Amada. Let's go get some rest. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Yo, smells geez. like a... Ah, smells like a trick. You too? Can I punch him in the head? Well then, let's see. Hmm. Well then. Interesting. You surprise me, Butch. 
You're so full of it. That isn't true. I'm all done, Mr. Brotz. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Given that he just looks at the page and says something. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. Oh, gee, that's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Yeah, now get rid of that haircut and that jacket. It's nice to know I can still be surprised. Pedicurist. You might have guessed manicurist, or even masseuse. But apparently, you're a foot person. What are you trying to say? Ha! Closer to reality than you might think. Listen. I was just as obnoxious at your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. And look where I ended up. Just between you and me. The whole tech joke. If you don't like the result, I can make the goat come out anything you want. Just let me know. Let's see. Big guns. Not melee weapons. I want energy weapons and big guns, I think. I don't want unarmed. Speech would be good. Sneak would be good. Maybe not maybe not energy weapons. Maybe we'll go small guns and big guns. And sneak. Eh, maybe we maybe we go small guns, sneak, and lock picking yeah we're gonna, we're gonna do that yes hi you're Christine Kendall eh? mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics Mr. Brock is a big fat liar Susie right Mac now, I don't pay any attention to you you really want to keep it that way okay wait celebrate with your friends. Mr. Brock is a big fat liar. Oh look, it's Doc Skin. Great. What do you want, nerd boy? Um, I want you to oh oh what happened? Wake up. Come on, wake up. What's wrong? Come on, you've got to wake up. What? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. What do you mean my dad's gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. Hmm. It's Jonas. They killed him. My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god. You have to leave now. But what about you? Yeah. Don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. Oh. There's a lot in here. I need to escape the vault, and you're going to help me? Even if that's all true, how did, how did you get here first? You're the overseer's daughter. Can't you fix this? You're right. I can't stay here, but work. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? Uh, I mean... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. All right, let's go. Listen. Why would I play so rude? Directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. I didn't you use, I didn't put hacking in. That's how I always get in. Okay. Oh, one more thing. 
I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Mm. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. I appreciate you, Amada. I'll meet you at the vault door if I Ooh. can, but don't wait for me. Stim packs. Should I take my old BB? I'll take the baseball bat just in case. What's down here? Nothing. I want to check out the room and make sure I don't lose anything. I mean, the baseball and the glove probably don't matter, but maybe it'd be nice to have. How do I equip things? Hotkey. How do I hotkey? I don't think I can hotkey. <laughs> oh, I see. Oops. Oh, I went I went to the wrong tab. Where am I? Weapons. There we go. So that should be up there. And that should be there. There we go. So now if I do this, I will equip or unequip it. This is the BB gun. I'm in the bathroom. Now, where am I going? I'm going this way. You gotta help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rad roaches. Uh, I mean, Butch, you're, you were such a cock. I can. Well, yeah, so I hate rad roaches. So what? I tried to go back in to help her. I swear I did. But I just can't do it. So I'm begging you, please help her. I don't know what I'd do without my mom. You're big, they're little. Just go back in there and be a hero? 25% chance? Do we, do we trust ourselves? No. Damn. No, I'm not going back in there. I can't. Wow. Where'd you get that? Okay. Okay, maybe I can do this. All right, I'm gonna go back in there and kill those damn roaches. Thanks. So it's a good thing I, I did keep it. Cool. Where the hell am I going? I'm a little sad that I don't have the BB gun anymore because I was I felt like I was a little bit better with that hello oh oh Jesus they killed that guard you got a police baton I think we want to wear some of that because it's got armor. Hmm. 
Look at that. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay. You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I beat I you up. Much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. Ladies? Oh, the ladies. The ladies' bathroom, okay. <laughs> it's like, what? Uh, is that better? Melee weapon plus five. No, it's not. All right, back to stealth mode. Do 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 do. I don't think I'm going through there. I think I'm going this way. Like you say, the rad roach situation is under control, but they're fucking everywhere. 